hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Christina Kent and today I'm going to do a little walkthrough of a typical day in my life as an artist with a full-time day job. I want to show you how I manage time between making art and my day job and how I make sure that I have time for art and creativity each day. I like to get up early so I can start painting first thing in the morning. And it took me a while to figure out my schedule and the best time for me to create. Usually I actually prefer to create in the afternoons or evenings, but having a full-time day job means you need to be flexible. I realized if I left my painting till the end of the day, oftentimes I was too tired and it just wouldn't happen. So instead what I decided to do is wake up early, usually around 6 a.m., and start painting in the mornings before I have to go to work. This works out really well for me because it means that I get to start my day with the thing I love most. I start my day with painting and getting into a creative flow and connecting with my creativity. It is so much easier getting to work once I've already done some painting. I think if you're not a full-time artist and say you have a day job or you have other things that make it really hard to make time for art, then doing art first thing in the morning can be a really great way to find the time. And I love these morning sessions. It was a little tricky to get up so early at first, but as soon as I have my coffee, I am ready to go. I've also come to love watching the sun as it rises over the city. It's such a beautiful sight and it always lifts my mood. And these morning hours are such a special time for me. It's very quiet, there's no disturbances, no distraction, no social media or phone calls or messages to worry about. It's just me and the canvas and I can focus. It's so easy for me to get into a creative flow in these morning sessions and I find that the time just flies by. And I want to emphasize that in these morning sessions, it's not about creating a good painting or a bad painting. It's not even about painting. I can be making a sketch or doing a collage. The important part is that I'm taking some time to devote to my creative practice. It just brings me so much joy and leaves me refreshed for the whole rest of the day. Around 8 a.m., it's time for me to wrap up the painting session. If I haven't finished the painting, then I'll put it in the fridge so that the paint stays wet and I can work on it the next day. After my painting sessions, I really like to take some time to journal. I've been doing morning pages from Julia Cameron's The Artist Way, and these are just kind of stream of consciousness journaling, where you just put down any of the thoughts that are on your mind and write for usually three pages longhand. Um, I found this practice to be really helpful. It just helps me dump out any of my worries or anxieties or just anything that's on my mind and put it on the page. And it's really interesting to see just how many thoughts we have going on in our head in any given moment. While writing these morning pages, I check in with how I'm feeling and try to set my mindset for the day. Journaling in this way also helps me distance myself from the constant mental chatter. And I think it helps me go through my day with more peace of mind. After journaling, I'll do a short meditation practice, usually a breathing meditation or a simple body scan. This also helps me feel peaceful and centered. If I have time, I'll go for a walk in the morning. I really like to get moving early in the morning. It just helps me jumpstart my energy for the day. Today, I'm shipping a painting, so I'm gonna go drop it off at the mailbox. Once I've gone on my walk, it's time to get to work. I start my day job around nine in the morning, and I usually spend most of my mornings catching up on emails since a lot of my colleagues are working on the East Coast, so they've already been up for a few hours once I start working. I work from home, which can be a little lonely, but I have a really great coworker. 
I'm an economics policy researcher for my day job, and that means I'm using a completely different skill set when I'm working. In painting, I'm deeply focused on the experience of color, light, form, and how these combine to create emotion. When I'm working on research, on the other hand, I switch into a more analytical mindset, and I'm focusing on how to best analyze the data, how to think rationally about the results that I'm seeing to draw insights. It can be kind of weird to switch from the artistic mindset to the researcher mindset during the day, but it can also be kind of refreshing to make the switch so that I'm not stuck thinking in one mindset all day. After going through my emails and responding to some requests, I have meetings with colleagues to discuss the status of our projects. For lunch, I try to keep it simple, often having something like rice with some leftovers. As an artist with a full-time day job, I don't feel like I have much time to waste, so it's really helpful when I can do efficient things like meal prep. I often like to work through lunch, which means I can end my workday earlier. After lunch, I usually spend my time analyzing data and working on research reports. It's helpful to have my studio at home, so on breaks, I can do small studio tasks, like varnishing a painting. I'm so thankful to have a day job that allows me to work from home so I don't have to commute and gives me the flexibility to plan my schedule. My day job also gives me a stable income, which is so, so helpful in the early stages of growing any business. I end my workday around 5 p.m. and after that, I usually like to go for a run. I started running in college and I quickly fell in love with it. It just brings me so much peace and it's good for my body and mind. And one of the amazing things about California is that the weather is nice year round, so I can run outside every day. This is especially helpful and gives me such a boost, especially after being inside all day. I love how running connects me to my body and usually it brings me into a state of flow. And when I'm done, I always feel a sense of accomplishment. After my run, I start my second job, running my art business. As an independent artist, I wear a bunch of hats. I do the painting, but I also do the marketing, I run my online store, I make all my content, including these YouTube videos, and sometimes it's a lot to do. However, all of these tasks have been essential to growing my art business, and making content for things like Instagram and YouTube has really helped me connect with more people across the world and meet new collectors. Running a new business is also really exciting. You're constantly adapting to situations and learning new things. And it can be kind of stressful, but it's also really fun. Running a small business also means that I have a never ending to-do list. I usually work on as much as I can until around 8 p.m. Then I take some time to have dinner and relax with my partner, Berad. On most weeknights, we take it easy. We cook something simple at home and watch one of our favorite shows together. After a productive and busy day, I usually like to read for a bit to wind down. I try to go to bed early, usually around 10, so I can be energized the next morning for my painting session. So yeah, that's my typical day. It's not always easy balancing art in a day job, but I find it so worth it to devote time to my art practice. Let me know in the comments how you make time for creativity in your life. I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.